there are only three web design skills that actually matter in 2025 and no it's not about changing fonts or choosing trendy colors after building hundreds of websites for the last few years here's what i've learned basically you don't need to master every new tool that comes out all you need to do is get really really good at a few things that actually move the needle you'll build better websites land better clients and stop second guessing your work let's get into it design for action this is the one skill that separates designers who make good looking websites from the ones that actually sell most designers focus only on how the site looks but pros design for action okay story time early on in my career i redesigned a client website and made it look way way better but after we launched it their sales actually dropped it looked amazing but it didn't quite guide users to do anything that's when i learned the hard way that visuals don't matter at all if the site doesn't convert so if you want your websites to work you can't think just like a designer you need to think like a strategist start by giving every page one clear goal don't clutter it with 10 different buttons and distractions if the goal is to book a call make that super obvious if it's to sell a product then focus everything around that i always place ctas in the hero banner and again after a few sections and then build trust by using real testimonials not those stock image fake ones and this might sound corny but think about emotion a website should make people feel something that's what conversion thinking is it's not about tricks it's about making it easy for people to take action number 2 create a system most beginners just try different things and keep trying to reinvent the wheel until something looks right but that's not design that's just blind guessing pro designers don't work off of vibes they work off of structure so i'm not saying you need to memorize a 100 design rules you just need one system that makes your layout feel clean balanced and easy to follow start with grids i use 12 columns on desktop 8 on tablet and 4 on mobile that gives me enough flexibility to split things into halves thirds or quarters without breaking my flow if you're using figma you can just select the frame hit layout grid switch to columns and you've got a foundation next is spacing this is what gives your design breathing room i follow the 8 point grid of spacing where all the spacing is in multiples of 8 like 8 16 24 and so on that's your margins paddings gaps everything it's what google and apple use in their design systems because trust me it just works and finally visual hierarchy keep related elements close together make the important stuff bigger or bolder use contrast to guide attention and keep things aligned alignment alone makes everything feel premium because in 2025 design is getting commoditized with ai a developer can now ask ai to give him a glass morphism effect like apple and get perfect assets and animations you need to take advantage of this paradigm shift that's happening and for that you need to learn the fundamentals of coding really well learning to code teaches you systems thinking first principle thinking and most importantly removes your dependence on a developer or coder to deploy stuff for you the point is not to make coding your day job we want to understand how coding works so you can prompt ai in a more effective way to put your design into development for example if you understand basic html and css you won't just ask ai to make a button you'll say give me a sticky cta bar with a flexbox layout on mobile uh, 16 pixels of padding and a hover animation that slides up that's very specific and that's kind of specific thinking happens when you start learning how to code that's when you stop being a designer and become a complete resource which will give you the edge please hear me guiding ai with clarity will be the biggest differentiator going forward so yeah you don't need to chase trends or shiny new tools you just need to get really good at designing for action creating a design system for yourself and learning how to code those are the design skills that actually matter in 2025 and going forward as well